Hey fellas, what's going on? Ricky Burrows here for another episode of Drone Maverick. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solder a Crossfire Nano to the... I gotta read what this flight controller is. It's a iFlight Success E-Mini F4. Let's get into it. Alright, now that we've got our iFlight Green Hornet, let's go ahead and unscrew all of these screws that are like holding the frame together. Once you get all the screws out, then you can lift these out. You can lift up the top of the frame. Now that we have the frame removed, we can see that the boards are right here, but your flight controller is right below this top board right here. So what we have to do is we have to unscrew all these screws. These screws are actually really, really tiny. So, uh, I mean, you're not gonna they're not on too tight you might be able to get it with your fingers I was able to do it with a pair of needle nose pliers and you want to be very very careful when you're doing that now that we've got these screws off go ahead and gently pull this connector right out it goes to the board below it before we move on to the next part, this was soldered in place. This is where everything gets connected for your radio controller. I had another one laying around from another drone and we're just going to wire it directly to the flight controller. Using this diagram, we're going to plug each wire into the flight controller as it is shown. So the wire colors are different because I used it from a different drone, but that's okay. We're just going to follow the path of these wires and we're going to land them right on our flight controller as is. Right, this is going to be a little tricky to do because I don't have a third hand, but we're going to put a little dab of solder right on to the tip of this wire. And there you go. All right, cool. I highly recommend that if you're going to be soldering, you want to use some needle nose pliers and, and you want to just tap it always a good idea to gently prove that it's on there you just give it a little tug not a lot just a little tug it's on there nice and snug so let's go ahead and move on to the next one so it looks like these spots need a little bit more solder on them so we are going to put just a touch on each of those pads so we're going to put one on R2 put it on the ground The five volts. Okay, now we're gonna take our yellow wire and we're gonna put that back onto the R2. You just tap it you, and you tap it and leave it there for a second. And then you gently prove that it's on there. And as long as you uh, put a little bit of force onto it and it doesn't come off, it's gonna be, it'll be great. All right, so now let's go ahead and throw the ground wire on there, the black wire. Give it a little tug. Now let's go ahead and solder our red wire to the five volts. It's on there pretty good. I do apologize that this is a little blurry. Like I zoomed in really good on my, with my phone and it's a little hard to read all of these. It's kind of why I'm naming the spots what these are but i do appreciate your patience and i do thank you very much for watching up to this part so far okay so now that we've got this all set let's go ahead and take our antenna and you'll see that there's a tiny little hole right here we're going to slide that through and then it's going to pass right he through here and if you don't have this antenna i'm going to leave a link in the description below you go ahead click on it and buy it this one is specifically for the crossfire Next, you're going to make the little bulb. Well, actually, before we make these little connections, you can take some heat shrink tape and put that in there and uh, cover that up. I actually don't have a heat gun on me, which is really strange. I'm just going to leave it without it. Go ahead, take the two, take your antenna, and you'll feel a little snap inside there. You want to avoid using metal objects to slide electronic things in there because stuff can get scratched, stuff can get dented. Oh, it actually went in there nicely. And these antennas are great because you know there's plenty of forgiveness so you can actually have a little bit of a bend right in here and that'll work just fine. Now let's go ahead and snip the 
tails off these zip ties. And there you have it. Now that we've got everything all situated, let's go ahead and put this all back together. We've got these little rubber spacers that go around the screws right here. Let's go ahead and put our video transmitter right back on top. Uh, yeah, we gotta put this little connector back inside. Now before we go any further, before we put on the rest of this cover right here, you're going to need to bind your Crossfire Nano to your remote control. Alright, so now we need to put our drone into binding mode, and I made this special little tool that helps me tremendously. You simply hold the binding button, and then press the power button. And if you want to know exactly how to build this tool yourself, I'm going to put the video right up here. So you can go ahead and build this thing yourself. It's super, super easy to build. Let's go ahead and turn on our Tyrannus. Welcome to OpenTX. All right, let's go down and I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Go ahead and uh, see the little I love you, Ricky. I love that too. The long press enter, create module. Hit the minus button over to the little drone. Hit the page button until we come to the page where it says long press to confirm. Hit the page button, press plus button, plus again up to the external RF mode. Hit enter and then go into the crossfire. Now I'm binding a crossfire transmitter from the remote to a crossfire receiver on drone. It has to be crossfire to crossfire. Basically English speaking remote controller to an English listening drone. Go ahead hit exit till you come to this page. Long press the menu. Hit page. Press enter. The minus button. Long press crossfire lua. Hit execute waiting for the crossfire device. Okay, once you see that, go ahead and hit the long press enter, or I think you just press enter. Go down, press the minus button to where it says bind, and press enter. Now this will put the remote into a binding mode. It said, hey, I'm looking for the drone. And this is how you can tell that it's looking for the drone, is that you see a blinking green light. What you wanna do is you wanna now hold onto the button for the receiver and it's going to keep cycling through until you see it turn red okay now it turned red and then on the back of this it turns blue this is what threw me for a loop because i didn't look on the back i didn't look at this thing but what you do next is you hit this button okay. now it just turned green it just made a connection to this and it's not downloading the firmware that's in here to this crossfire and it's taking it's going to take a while you don't want to interrupt this process okay it just went from a solid blue to a green and look see now what's going to happen is the two are going to bind together and that's exactly what just happened so that process is all by itself it is now bound the remote is now bound to your green hornet. All right guys, so with that being said, I hope this was really helpful for you. Want to bind your Crossfire Nano receiver to your FR Sky remote with the Crossfire transmitter. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below because your comments are super helpful for me to keep making videos like this, you know, if they're really helping people. So hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you on the next video.